Hello, if you've correctly installed Polyboard and Quick Design Libraries with their environment, when you open up Polyboard, you should have four new toolbars displayed on screen. The Quick Design Projects toolbar, the Quick Design Cabinets toolbar, Quick Design Methods and Quick Design 3D. These toolbars are shortcuts either to frequently used commands or to features that are difficult to find in the standard Polyboard menus. Please note that the toolbars are set up initially for a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. So if your computer display is not exactly the same, they may not be placed exactly as seen on my screen here. But in all cases, it's very easy to just click and move the toolbar to a position that is comfortable for you. Now Polyboard has two main ways of working working on a room that contains several cabinets or pieces of furniture and this is called project mode or working on an individual piece of furniture and this is called cabinet mode. In both modes creating and editing is done in a 2D window and it's also possible to display the job in 3D as you work on it. Quick Design will display toolbars dynamically according to the mode and the view you're working in. So to show you how to use Polyboard and Quick Design, let's just create a quick example project. To start, let's draw a new room. To do this, let's click the New Project button up here on the standard Polyboard toolbar. Polyboard will open a project workspace and display the Quick Design project toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen here. To start building our room, let's set up a floor slab. To do this, let's click the new floor button, which is the first button in the Quick Design toolbar. Polyboard opens the floor parameters and we can set the floor size of the room. In general, I suggest you set the size to something that's a bit bigger than the actual room. When I click on OK, Polyboard displays its drawing editor, showing the plan view of our floor slab. We can see on the right hand side, the floor parameters in the properties menu. Let's change the floor thickness. I'm going to click into the thickness box and put 50 millimeters here. Let's add a texture to the floor slab. I'm going to go into the texture and file name box, click on the three dots, which will open up our texture library. Let's click some black and white tiles and click open. And that's added a texture to our floor. When I click OK, I can see the floor slab in 2D in my project edit window. To zoom into my floor slab, I can just roll the scroll wheel. If I press the scroll wheel and drag, I can pan my view. To change my view angle, I can click in the quick design toolbar, the view angle button. And this opens up the view angle dialog box where I can either click and drag the 3D view to have a different view or choose one of the predefined view angles from the top toolbar. When the view is OK, I can just click the OK button and Polyboard will update the 2D display. The Quick Design Project toolbar also contains a 3D view button. If I click on a 3D button, it will open my project in the 3D window. Note that in the 3D window, Polyboard displays the Quick Design 3D toolbar, as well as the Quick Design Methods toolbar because methods can be used in the 3D mode. To change the 3D view, I can just click and drag. This will change my point of view on my model. To zoom, I can use the scroll wheel on the mouse, And to pan, I can press on the scroll wheel and drag. It's possible to display both 3D and 2D side by side. To do this, I can move my mouse over to the 3D tab up here, click right, and in the menu, select New Vertical Tab Group. I can now see that my 3D view is on the right hand side of my screen with the Quick Design 3D toolbars. If I want to change screens, if I click on the 2D window, I can now see that the 2D window is active with the Quick Design Project toolbar. I can also change the active view just by pressing on the spacebar. 
When I press on the spacebar, we can see that the 3D view is active because the Quick Design 3D toolbars are displayed and I can now zoom and pan in the 3D window. Pressing on the spacebar again will activate the 2D window. The Quick Design project will now be displayed and I can work on my project.